Good morning, dear hearts. All right, we're at lesson 184. Um, obviously, this lesson, the name of God is my inheritance, is very much a follow-up or continuation of yesterday's lesson that I call upon God's name and on my own. So um, again, remember the number one because that is the most important number throughout this whole thing. The whole course is about our oneness, okay? Now what this lesson starts and tells us, and it's, it's brilliant, is that we live by symbols. What has happened in this illusion is that we have named everything. And I look over and I call that a cat, and I call that a car, and I call that a tree, and I, I call that person John, and I call this one Mary. And what I do when I name it and claim it, I separate it. I take what is everything that is in allness, and I've now decided, well, you sit over here and you sit over there, and you're a part of this, and you're not a part of that. I have taken the allness and separated different parts from the all that is, which is all that there is. So now when I separate things in my mind by naming them and giving them uh, assignments, okay, I have made a space between all that is and that one thing. This makes my mind believe that because everything is separate, because I've created, I've made, I want to make sure, I've made up all this perception of things being apart, that now I can act independently of all of these other things and my actions will not affect them. Not so, grasshopper, okay? In the naming is the cause and the effect of that individual naming is separation. I have denied unity. And then the course goes on to say that, well, first of all, it says the nameless were given names and thus reality was given them as well. When I've named it, I've given it its own individual reality. And then it goes on, um, the lesson goes on to say that then because of this naming, and separation and to my brother okay so I've named this brother John and this one Mary and this one Augustus their their unity is twice denied because first I've denied their unity by naming them and separating them but now their unity is also denied because they answer to it they now believe that that is who they are so um, the lesson tells us that, you know, these are all symbols, but yet we need to use them for now because this is, this is the means by which we will learn and by which we will bring everything that we have separated back into a unified state. So just don't let our minds accept it. Um, one of the lines that's in this, this lesson that I love, it's repeated many times in the course, is no one can fail. No one can fail who seeks to find the truth, okay? And no one can fail who seeks the meaning of the name of God. God isn't really the name. It's it, that again, it's a symbol. It is, but it is because we have given the unifiedness, the source, the creator, a name. But in doing that, we have perhaps separated that allness into one entity. Okay, um, beautiful, beautiful prayer at the end of this lesson. I would highly recommend that you do it. Um, and I just, sometimes when I'm doing and preparing for the lessons, something will come to my mind. And in this sense, because this lesson is talking about that, you know, I've named it and I've, so I've separated it. There um, was an actor now, Eddie Izzard, and he had a wonderful routine called, Do You Have a Flag? And in the routine, if you don't have a flag, you don't have a country. Okay, and in this, if I don't have a name, then I'm part of everything. 
So it's only my naming that has separated me. I hope this helped. Um, I hope you're, you're subscribing. I hope you're sharing. I hope you're liking and you're commenting. I love all of that. I will respond to every comment. And um, I hope you're having a great day. And pre-fourth. Namaste.